Hey everybody, this is PJ Riley from Competition Archery Media out here at the Matthews Pro-Am, Metropolis, Illinois. We are here for Matthews Shot of the Week. And of course, we had to pick Matthews' newest pro here, Jimmy Lutz. Jimmy, before we get into it, congrats on Matthews. Going back, I mean, congrats, you were shooting with him before. Yeah, thank you. Um, I'm, I'm super excited. We, I mean, in Wisconsin, we live 30, 45 minutes from, yeah, right. from Matthews. So. I mean, it just, it just fits. Um, I'm really happy to be here and excited to see what me and Danelle can do. Yeah, his wife Danelle is also shooting Matthews. And now today also, man, we're just hitting on all strides today. <laughs> Not only did you just switch to Matthews, but you're our known pro leader at 32 up. Yeah, it was a good day. The, I mean, the bow held so still today. So I just had to make sure I was aiming in the right spot. But um, it was a tricky day, but it was definitely gettable. So uh, for you, changing bows mid-season like that, you're familiar with the Matthews bows, but was there that big of a difference for you to turn it around quickly? I think the difference, the way I shoot, because I, I mean, I punch, yeah. the difference is just how it holds. If I can get it to hold, it's gonna shoot good for the most part. So that, that was the most important thing for me. Um, and I mean, a couple days just tinkering with weights and the setup, and I was basically, aiming how I used to and shooting how I used to. So gotcha. it, it was a pretty quick transition. That's awesome. Well, Jimmy, we have the wolf here today, which you said you missed. And I didn't ask, did you miss for a 10 or you missed for an eight? For a 10. For a 10. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. So this is now a really ugly target. Yeah. <laughs> it got pitch dark. Let's go check it out. All righty. All right, Jimmy, so we have the wolf at 49 and a half yards, yep. <laughs> which known pro, you know, you guys can shoot distance and, and you can use range finder stuff, but that's not the problem with this target. Yeah, it's very dark. <laughs> um, it, it was better earlier in the yeah. round. This was one of my first tar my third target of the day, I think. Um, it was better. Um, I kind of played it on the safe side and just just missed the upper just low um but it was the first long shot of the day yeah you know i just kind of wanted to get get the feel for the round first but so no. realistically i mean so known pro you guys kind of have to go for them all yeah but one like this it, it, what are you doing <laughs> unless you have an arrow to shoot off of i mean that definitely helps um yeah but if you're if you're leading off on this target I, you're basically looking at the silhouette through your scope so right. I'm I'm looking at the leg. The, there's a little white white spot on the belly yeah. that you can go off of, um, but really, I mean, it, to aim hard at a 12 is is going to be extremely difficult on this. I would imagine so. Yeah, I would think this would be one you wouldn't really mind if you shot a 10. Right. Um, a 12 is a bonus. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. So additionally, uh, Jimmy, besides this one being a dark target, it is as humid today as I think I've ever been in humidity. And I'm, my hands are sweating. How do you combat that? What, what do you do? Um, I try to keep my hands as dry as I can. Um, I, I wipe them on my pants a lot. You yeah. know, I, don't, I don't have a towel with me right now, but I'm definitely bringing one tomorrow. <laughs> but, but that's really what you can do. I got some like tennis tape on my grip. That helps a lot. Um, but it does help, okay. All day today, I heard of guys just slipping on their release yeah, and right. stuff like that. And that's kind of the, the Thing you need to control when you're shooting is how you grip your release how you grip the bow you know that's, right. that's the most important thing really um i i put my release all the way deep in my hand so it's a lot harder to slip not okay. i don't do it because of that but yeah, i just yeah. do it that's and it kind of benefits me in that but i mean that's kind of the most important thing on days like today is just slippery and everything's sweaty and it's just a nightmare i would think with your style with punching it i would think that doesn't matter so much here. I shoot a hinge and I was just shooting practice and I could feel that thing moving all yeah, over the place. I, I'm not rotating or anything yeah, like, yeah. like a hinge shooter. So I probably don't feel it as much. Um, and if my thumb's slippery, you know, it doesn't matter too much because I'm just smacking yeah. it. So, <laughs> but um, I guess if I hit it and it didn't go off and I slipped off it, then we'd have an issue. But So let's talk about that because actually, I don't know if we've ever had a puncher on shot of the week. No, I I've think, seen you punch a couple off. Well, yeah, that's me <laughs> with a hinge too. Yeah, not on purpose, I would assume. Uh, but 
You know, I always like Tim Gillingham. He, I always think of him saying, when a puncher is on, you cannot beat him. You guys just are locked in there. And I watched you, you know, shooting you sats and stuff. And it's like, what are you going to do? He just keeps hitting the middle over and over. What does it look like for you? And what's happening in your brain when you're doing what you do? Typically, if, if you're shooting good and punching, it's going to be fairly quick. Your shots are going to be quick. Um, something like this, I'll, I'll draw back. I, I usually come up from the bottom. Okay. And then, I mean, it needs to sit still for a split second and that thing is good to go. Yeah. Um, and I, I mean, I've been doing it long enough where my brain, it just does it on its own. You know, I don't really force it off necessarily. My, it just does it on its own. Huh. Um, and the, the issues with that is, I mean, sometimes you'll see you just not, it's not flowing. You don't have the rhythm. Um, and that, that's where punching can get a lot of people. Um, but I mean, you've seen like Kyle Douglas has been absolutely killing it the past six years or right, something right. like that. And I mean, I'd like to consider him a puncher. I'm sure, I'm sure he is, but, um, <laughs> he it, admits it. <laughs> yeah. It, but if you, if a puncher is on, it can be really dangerous. Yeah, and, man. and I mean, Kyle's a perfect example of that. Cause he's been on fire for five years. D do you notice? So I've watched you shoot a bunch of times and your thumb is, you know, not near it. And then I watch it come around and bang. Do you, is that happening without you noticing or it, you? I have no clue that's happening. Is that right? T typically it happens when I'm more under pressure or I've got some nerves, but I, I like to set my thumb on it. And like out here today, like I was pretty, pretty relaxed. I could get the back there, set my thumb on it and just make a good shot. Gotcha. Usually when I, when I really punch it, I mean, I'm just a little late with my thumb when it sits for that split second. Uh, so it okay. just comes out, hammers it. And yeah, yeah. I don't even really know what's happening, but yes, I mean, sometimes you can feel the movement, but really. I not. saw I, one of the last world cups where you were in the metal matches that you had your hat on that said punchy. Yep. I thought yep. that was cool. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Michelle. I got that from one of our family friends, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Jimmy, let's see what happens here. I got the hinge, you got the thummy. We'll see what happens. Let's do it. All right, so Jimmy, I... Man, it's just like... A... <laughs> It's just like a big mass of nothing. Yep. <laughs> I, the kind of the, the white is my only reference, really. I mean, and then the shoulder, but. So that would tell me you're gonna go lower. I, boy. I will call upper just Ooh. cause this one, I tend to drop out low. Okay. Um, so I don't want to shoot at eight. <laughs> I, I've Basically. seen you shoot a couple left eights in <laughs> yes. this, but if I shoot a left eight here, I'm cracking that tree. So <laughs> I, I'm hoping I don't do that, but I will call upper. All right. Oh, wait One more time here. Cause I want to get a reference off that tree. Okay. I think I have a reference. We're going to find out. All right. Strong shot. Here we go. High right core. Yeah, line. that's so that's that happened to me yesterday. Were you going for the 14? Uh yes. <laughs> no, that so that happened to me yesterday in the team shoot. Unexplained. That was a from my end, it felt like a good shot. Okay. But I went high right yesterday. I did feel it like too. you were aiming in the yeah, right I region. I felt like I was right where I needed to be. And it definitely shouldn't have gone right. Yeah. It, it could have something to do with lighting. Um, I, I know the different ranges might be a little bit different. Um, the yeah. sun's coming at a weird spot, um, but no wind. Come on, give, so. me, give me some more excuses. I um, like this. Yeah, there's the dog barking <laughs> the over there. The sun was in my eyes. Yeah, yeah. Man. No, right. it, good show, shot show, considering. Show them how it's done. All right. Uh, that was... Everything on my end felt good, and yet it's high right. So Ooh. I can't explain that, but I know that happened to me yesterday. Okay, so, so. I, have, I have this exact target at home facing the exact same way. So I'm going to basically play it off the leg. Okay. Come up from the white. Mm -hmm. And I'll go for lower, and I hope I hit it. 
but it is still very dark. It is. What, what were you going for? Lower. I think you hit it. Ooh, it's close. It's, it's close. It's close. It's, it's right there. Man, that's why these guys are the pros. All right, Jimmy, let's go down there and look at it. I right. won't prolong my pain anymore. I'm more <laughs> interested in seeing what you did. All right. All right, Jimmy. So, mine we don't know how to explain. You're like... <laughs> I'd be just over it. I mean, I don't even know if that's an inch. Honestly, half an inch. 49 and a half yards with how dark it was. I'll take it. <laughs> I was going to say. I, I would have liked a better arrow to aim off of. Right. But yeah. <laughs> Sorry I couldn't help it, you there. That's all right. <laughs> no, it, with that distance, I mean, I, I'm, I'm sure the majority of the guys out here today hit something close to that. Yeah. Because they're not going to try to give up points, you know. You're going to aim hard at them, but... That's, when you can't see, you're not going to give up the points. That's, yeah, okay, so we were talking about you guys have to go for the point, but I imagine equally as strategic is you don't want to give up a point. Right. Eights are really bad for you guys. Yeah, eights go a long way. Yeah. So, that I mean, that's the main thing. Nobody will say they're playing safe, but this one I definitely was going more, hoping for a 10 more than an eight, so... <laughs> And yeah, because it's, I mean, and if you go out the bottom of the lower, man, it's not too far before you really get into trouble. Right. Yeah, and I mean, you can see a lot of the holes are right around here. Yeah. And these brown spots, I could see these earlier today. Oh, okay, but gotcha. But you're still, I'm not, I'm not aiming here, you know? I'm going to yeah. aim more here in case something happens, right. whether I'm two clicks off on my site even. Yeah. Um, and and I, I feel like the majority of people on these, on these targets, these dark long ones are gonna be right around the IBO. Yeah, right. Man, we gotta start doing shots of the week at like the 20 yard large HD deer. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Maybe um, I'll hit one of them. Yeah, you, I mean, you're only a little bit off there. That's not bad. Well, uh, yeah, I thought we were in the shoot down. I was <laughs> Hey, Jimmy, congrats on the Matthews. Great to see you out here. Congrats on a big day today. We should let folks know who may not know that you are the known pro record holder out here for a two-day score of 60 up. Yep. That was a Foley this year. Yep. We'd seen people come close, but this year you finally broke the mold there. So that's, yep. that's that was awesome. Two days of 30 up. <sighs> and I, I told you I was going for 64 this week. Oh, so right, right. At 32, so I'm, I'm on pace. Hey, that's right. But I didn't even think of that. <laughs> yeah. Well, all right. Well, we, <laughs> we'll update the folks on how that goes. But Jimmy, we appreciate your time. Thank you. Appreciate it. Folks, another episode, Matthew's Shot of the Week. Thanks for joining us.